Hi everyone, it's Rachel with Rachel Super Cute Creations and I want to show you how to make these torn paper embellishments. They are so simple. All you need is two pieces of paper, um, one vintage page or one scrapbook page, something that has some pattern book page, and then one um, just scrap page to give it a base. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. So you can use music paper. I'm also going to grab this New York Times paper that I have and we're going to just show you how easy and how simple we can make some embellishments. So I'm just using regular um, copy paper as my base and I'm going to use this part of the New York Times. So all I want to do is use a permanent glue stick. I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. I have a lot going on today um, but I wanted to get this quick little craft with me video out because quite a few of you saw my embellishments in some groups and you were asking me, how did I make them? And I said, you know what? These are so simple. And so all I do is I just go ahead and glue this and make sure you use a permanent glue stick. Um, you don't want to use a washable glue stick. So I'm just going ahead and just burnishing this down. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Joyce. How are you? I tried to go um, live in Facebook, but Facebook's given us some problems today. So I just decided to come on. Sorry for moving the camera. Um, come on into YouTube. All right. And then I just take a ruler and I just hold it to the edge and I just tear off this excess paper. Just like that. And so I now have this beautiful base and I don't worry about this. Um, I can just tear that off. Whoops. If I hang on to my ruler, I can tear it off. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And so I now have this beautiful base um, to use. But I'm going to let this one set to the side for a minute so that it can dry. And I'm going to pull out the one that I did before. So once you have this, you have to think about, okay, what do you want to do? You can get four corner tucks from this. So all I do is I just come in with my fingers and I just tear. So there's one corner. Hi, Tracy. How are you? I love Tracy, you guys. If you haven't subscribed to Tracy's channel, please subscribe to Chase, Tracy Fox's channel. She does some amazing things. Tracy, you might even have been one of the people who I saw doing some of these torn embellishments. So I just come in and I just do four corners just like that. So I now have four corner tucks. Oh, I have the wrong Tracy Fox. Okay. Then the next thing I do is I like to do a belly band out of this. And so usually if I'm looking at a journal, you know, if you're looking at a eight and a half by 11 or eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, you're five and a half inches. Oops. So this is long enough to be a belly band. So what I do is I just come in and I create a quick and easy torn belly band just like that. So I now have four corner tucks and a belly band. Okay, so there's five embellishments. No, that's fine. I'm just happy you joined. All right, this piece I'm going to hang on to, but I'm going to just make some little tabs. So there's one. Glad you were able to join us from the UK. There's two. I'll tear off this little piece right here. So now we have three. I want to make a bigger one this time. Just because sometimes I like to have more of like a pocket at the bottom of my page. Okay, so we ended up with four corners, a belly band, 
we have one, two, three, four, five. We're at 10, 11 little embellishments in that one little piece of paper. And, and I what I threw away, I should have showed you. I just had a few pieces left. Okay, so the next thing I do is I ink up my edges. You don't have to do this step. But what I like to do is go ahead and go around and ink these up as quickly as possible so that they're already done. If I'm going to do a bunch of these, and typically when I do these, you guys, I'll, I'll glue the papers in my my um, junk journal studio and then I will um, take it out to the couch while my husband's watching TV because you know he watches TV I'm not a big TV watcher but sometimes um, you know I feel guilty that I'm not out there watching TV with him so I'll go out and watch TV and I'll do the paper tearing now sometimes he gets a little irritated because the noise but all I have to do is take the paper and my ink dauber out there I don't have to take any other supplies out there. I'm just taking my paper that I glued together out there. I don't need scissors. I don't need, I'm just taking the paper, the ink dauber and the ink pad and that's it. And so I don't have a bunch of junk out there. Now, sometimes I'll also just work, um, you know, if you need a workspace surface and you don't have one, a lot of times I'll just grab a, a cookie sheet and I'll grab a piece of um, parchment paper or wax paper and just lay it on top of my cookie sheet and put the cookie sheet on my lap. So that's another just quick, quick tip for you. Hi, Luann. How are you? Welcome. So also, for those of you who are watching, I am going to have a live sale tonight. I have some really awesome things. Um, it's going to be starting at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone. Um, so if you're interested and we just want to come and hang out and chit chat and if you're looking for some specific things for junk journaling, I have some amazing deals. Um, you guys are going to have some first choices before I put them in my shop. And you can just leave these just like this. I mean, if you want to just use these on a page without embellishing them, you can. Now, what do I use to embellish? A lot of, I use scraps. So I have just a couple more. Sorry, I know this is boring. Going as fast as I can. We're at eight minutes. And I have already, we've, we've glued a page, we've torn these up, and we've inked them. A little less than eight minutes, because I did a little bit of talking at the front. Okay. So we're done. So typically then what I'll do is I'll just take this bundle and I'll put a clip on it so that I have them like this. And I just keep these all clipped and stacked up so that when I'm ready to do a journal, I can do that journal. Um, so we're going to just pretend that I'm ready to do a journal. And I'm going to grab just some things, just some scraps. So um, what do I have here? So I'm going to grab a couple scraps of map. I have some scraps of scrapbook paper. We'll use those to play with. And then I'm going to grab a few fabric scraps out of my snippet bag so that's my shabby chic snippet bag um that i sell in my etsy shop and then i'm gonna look here and see if i can find those darn stamps i was working with okay here we go so and i'm gonna grab just a pile of foreign stamps and that's it that's all we're gonna play with Okay, 
And so typically when I make these, um, if I'm making a theme, I only grab a few items to work with. I don't give myself a ton of options. Otherwise, I can be here all day, right? All right, so the next thing I do is I think about, if this is my journal, I think about how will these be placed in a journal? So I wanna show you. So this could go in the bottom. It could be a tuck like this, or it could go at the top and be a tuck like this. So same thing here. Now this one I would put at the top because I want the words to go. So this would be a tuck like this. This one can be a bottom tuck, a corner tuck. I can put it in the corner and tuck over here. I can take these. These are my corner tucks. This would be a bottom corner tuck. This one would be a bottom corner tuck. And this one's going to be a top corner tuck. Okay? So just kind of keep in mind when you're working with these, what that's going to look like. Okay, I love this where it says the new, so I don't want to cover that up. So all I'm going to do is grab a pair of scissors and I am going to just use itty bitties, as I call them, on here. And I like to layer approximately two to three items um this is some vintage uh some vintage linens okay there we go and i leave the i'll i'll go ahead and i'll leave those those little strings and i don't worry about those at all These are original pages, Tracy. Hi, Linda. Welcome. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to glue these down. I don't take a lot of time because, you guys, sometimes when we overthink things, then the next thing you know, we don't get anything accomplished. I don't know about you guys, but for me, and then I'm so frustrated because I wasted all this time. So I just really try not to overthink things if I can. Um, and I want to keep this one, ooh, I want to keep this one very neutral. So I'm going to use this little black and white stamp. And the reason why I'm keeping this neutral is because then it can go in a lot of journals. So add some of this. And we're going to put this little stamp right here. So this little corner is done. Simple, simple. Easy peasy, guys. All right, we know this one's going to start at the top, so I'm going to put my embellishment part down here. Um, and I'm going to keep these all kind of neutral just because I want them to kind of go together. I think a little bit of lace would be pretty. So we'll let that kind of peek down there. I'm going to grab... Grab some. Oh, come on. Yep, so these are our original. I use originals. I don't worry about as long as I'm backing them onto something. I mean, you absolutely could do this with digitals too if you wanted to. There's no reason why you couldn't make that work either. All right, so let's see what we have here. I'm not going to get any more stamps out. I'm only going to use what I have. All right, so I love this kind of blue one. I think it's pretty, um, but I need to add something, and I know it's hard to see, but this is this is like a little bit of shimmer blue. So I'm going to add this here just to kind of pull in that really light blue. And you know what? I'm going to make this just put a little bit of ink on it, not a lot just to make it a little bit more vintage and, and bring it more towards the neutral tone. And I wish I wasn't fighting with my glue today. How many of you use the, um, oh, what is it called? Um, glitter glue with the fine tip. 
I really want to try that. I haven't tried that glue yet. All right. So this one's fun. It has sort of a additional layer. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And, oh, this one's kind of pretty. It's kind of neutral and pretty, so that would be a good one. I want to bring a little teeny bit of color, not much. So I'm going to grab some of this silk. And I'm, I want it to be kind of rough and, and raggedy, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to add that right there. Oh, I'm gluing my fingers together. Anybody else have that problem? <laughs> there we go. And now I'm just going to add my little stamp. Yeah, it is rather pricey, Luann. The glue, I just, I really, I see a lot of people doing some great stuff with it. So I don't know, maybe one day I'll, I'll bite the bullet and buy it. All right. So for this one, like I said, we're just going to continue to use these itty bitty scraps. And that's it. I'm going to flip that one that way, just like that. Let's add this little piece on right here. Keep in the nice neutrals. I'm gonna use, look at how pretty this one is. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add this stamp. And you can see how easy you can take and just tie all these embellishments in very quickly. I mean, we've made four. And look, they all pretty much match. Okay, thanks, Linda, I'm glad to hear that. I really want to try it. I just, I don't know. Every time I think about trying it, it's like, oh, well, I always want to purchase this instead. <laughs> so I think it is going to be my next purchase, though. Okay, so here is some gorgeous, this is some really expensive linen. Um, yes, and I just tore it up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this linen down. And you can see I'm just working fast. I'm not thinking a whole lot about it. Um, look, at, I could add some of this pink sheer ribbon. I think that would be pretty there. And we're just making some really nice shabby chic embellishments using up stamps because I have so many stamps that I need to use up. And I think this would be pretty just like this. And look at that. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I think these are so adorable. And I wanted to share it because I know a lot of us are, are sitting around and, and, you know, this is a great time. We can't get out and do some of the things that we want to do. Um, so this is a great time to start just working on some of these embellishments, getting some things ready so that, you know, next winter when we're tied up in the house again, um, or it's a rainy day and we want to play, we have some things ready for us. So I hope this quick tutorial just will inspire you to get out some book pages, glue them down. And then even like these threads, I call these nests. I call them thread nests. I will use these too over in the corner just to... So I, I try not to waste anything. And you can see I don't have a ton of stuff out, guys. I'm just, look at, let's use this. We'll just keep these nice. Gorgeous colors together. So I'm just using whites and creams, whites and creams. I have this pretty. Darn, this glue is really giving me some trouble. I'm just going to add that to the corner, and I'm going to look for 
a stamp because my theme is going to be these stamps. Oh, I keep sticking to my fingers. You know, what? I kind of like this one. I kind of like this little bit of green. I think that's pretty and it will just tie in right there. So I'm just going to put my glue on the back. Probably should have inked it first, but I didn't. And we're just going to go ahead and add that. And there's another one. Isn't that pretty? So simple, simple, simple. We're almost done. We almost have our entire container or container, goodness, our entire project done. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? We're going to let that hang off just a little bit. So I'm going to add this right over here. I'm going to let that hang off a little bit. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's see. Let's grab something that's, you know what? I'm going to grab a little bit of this muslin. I'm going to let that one go kind of up a little bit. So I hope you're all just really having a great day. Um, hope you're finding some things to do during this stressful time. Um, I've really been spending a lot of time in my junk journal room because I just can't, um, the news is just so depressing. And so I'm just really trying to keep myself busy. Kind of taking some of this pink down, making it a little more vintage. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna put a smidge of pink behind here. Not much, but just a smidge. There we go. And you know what? This one would be great to put some of this nest behind it. All right, we have two, three more and that's it. Three more and we're done. So let's, let's do this. Here's some pretty, just little tiny I don't throw any of my little snippets away. And for those of you who are looking, I do, if you don't have a lot of vintage um, pieces like this, I do sell my snippet packs in my Etsy store. Um, they're fun to just play around with. And you get a ton, a ton in my little packs. I stuff them full for you. All right, this one needs a little something more. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's glue these down. We'll get our stamps on them and we are done. We have made all of these. Yeah, Tracy, I agree. I mean, I think we have to. I think we have to come together as just a world right now. Um, and we have to just continue to do things. One of the things that I've been doing um, is I've also been making medical masks for um, our first responders and our nurses and our doctors. And I have met so many amazing people over the course of just this year last four weeks from all over the world who are doing the same thing in their countries. And I just, you know, I, I've become great friends with so many people. And, um, you know, one of the reasons why I'm doing my live sale tonight is a lot of craft stores and things are, are shut down across the world. Um, I'm still able to ship and I'm doing that under being very careful about 
making sure that the packages are out for, you know, 48 hours before I ship them and that I'm packing them, you know, is as safely as I possibly can, um, using gloves, things like that. And so um, I just, I, I think it's a way for us to come together as, as a world and just do something um, when, when times are just bleak. Hi, Emma, how are you? So yeah, if you guys are not busy today at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone, you know, even if you you don't purchase anything, even if you just want to come hang out, we're going to just, I'll have my live sale going on. Look at this one from the Netherlands. I love this stamp. All right, one more, guys, one more. And we have in less than 25 minutes made all these embellishments. So I wanted to show you, you can do this. You can do this. And the other thing is, these are great for cards. You know, our healthcare workers and a lot of our healthcare workers, at least here, um, they're away from their families right now because they're so afraid of bringing COVID-19 into their homes that, um, you know, just something. At least that's how my, what my thought is. You know, let's, let's at least give people uh, continue to bring hope to everybody, you know, nursing homes and, and just, there's a variety of different ways that we can help. All right, done, 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 done. Put my lid on my glue. pull these stamps out of the way and then we're going to look at all of the ones we made in less than 20 minutes i did a lot of talking if i wouldn't have been talking as much oh that's fine luann that's fine i can't wait to see you at the sale tonight okay all right so here's what we ended up with you guys can you believe in less than 25 minutes we made all of these did you hear me all of these Fun, fun, fun. All right. How many did we make? One, two, three, four. Woo. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten embellishments. Ten embellishments in less than 20 minutes. It was awesome. So I hope, hope you use this tutorial. I hope you try it. Um, I'd love to see if you make some of these, you know, send me a message. I do have a Facebook page, um, Super Cute Creations. Um, and I hope everybody has a wonderful day. If you get a chance, I'll see you guys tonight at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.